In this video, we take a look at nine small Class C RVs from the 2024 Florida RV Super Show and the Fort Myers RV Show. And at the end of the video, we're going to get a closer look at the RV that we think is perfect for us. But you're going to have to wait till the end of the video to see it. What? We, we hope you enjoy the video. <laughs> Hey there, I'm Rose. And I'm Dan. And, and we, we are, are the Half-Ass half -ass Travelers. All the RVs in this video are considered to be Class C units. You will see, however, that we do refer to some of them as B pluses. That's because we hadn't gone inside yet to see that there's actually a bed over the driver compartment. Also, some of the units are listed as a model number 24, indicating that they may be 24 feet. However, the models on the Mercedes chassis are actually just over 25 feet. Let's get started. This is the Winnebago View 24D, and this unit has a feature that we really like, the Murphy bed. Let's take a look. The View is built on the Mercedes-Benz chassis, uh, which is really a plus, because we like the ride and the fit and finishes of the Mercedes-Benz cockpit. It's really nice. When we came into the View, we noticed something very unexpected. Look up here. There's actually a bed over the driver's compartment. That makes this a Class C, not a B plus. Also, look at this. We've got this entire U-shaped bench. I like the U-shaped bench. It even has cushions that allow you to extend the bench if you would like to sit with your feet up or whatever. I think that that's a great feature. Back here, we've got the sofa and Murphy bed. We love the Murphy bed, as you all know, because we can leave the bedding on it. We don't have to keep making and unmaking the bed every time we stop somewhere. It's a really nice feature. We kind of like how they kind of fused together the entertainment section across from the couch and the uh, bench seating area and the kitchen area. It's all here. There's a lot of counter space here. In fact, look at this. Rose is going to love this. A double sink. Where do you ever see that in an RV? That is amazing. It's got an induction cooktop and a gas cooktop. Another bonus. It's got the convection oven and a very large refrigerator and separate freezer. It's beautiful. There is one downside with this unit. It seems like the bathroom is not quite so large as some of the others we've seen at this length. There's plenty of room. It just seems a little bit tighter. And I think that there was a trade-off from having so much space up front that there's a little less room in the bathroom, but it is still plenty of room for everything we need. So this is the Winnebago View 24J, and the difference with this model, it's almost identical to the one we just saw, except for it's got a rear corner bed. And if you know anything about Rose and I, you'll know that this ain't gonna cut it. Mm -hmm. So we're definitely not going with the J. Everything else is pretty nice. It's got the really nice bathroom. I like this setup better than the one that's jammed in the back. Uh, it just seems a little more spacious. Uh, so there's one thing we like about this one and one thing we don't really like. We've got a real treat for you because we're here in the Winnebago section of the Florida RV Super Show and we've got their brand new unit. This is the Winnebago View 24T and there's some interesting things in this unit that make it different than the ones from years past. So let's go take a look. As you can see, this unit is a lot different than the other units we saw. This is the Murphy bed in the down position. This is what it looks like. Look, this is what it looks like. Look at the windows and the light that comes in here. It's a shame that the Murphy bed has to block those windows, but when the bed is down, it's a really it's really nice to have that kind of view. If you look over here, they've got a little pull-out table with some folding chairs. This is more like a class A. This is a B plus we're standing in. This looks like an A. Look at the size of this fridge. It's huge. Absolutely massive refrigerator for a class B plus or C. There's a little argument over whether or not this is a B plus or C, but we'll call it a B plus for now. And then, uh, and the kitchen area is divided up into two. Half of the kitchen is on the slide, the cooking half, and then the sink 
is over here behind the slide. That's really ingenious because you don't really need it when you're not, not moving. So it's good to have it like that and it provides you a little more space and a little more space to move around. Underneath here, there's a sofa. We're not gonna pull the Murphy bed up or I can probably pull it up a little or, or I can't, but there, there, believe me, there's a sofa under there. And then also over the driver's compartment, we have, of course, the bed. And look at the windows there. It's really nice, really nice spot for the kids or for a uh, couple of small adults. In the back, we've got the bathroom, and this is hugely improved over some of the other units we saw. This is a 24-foot RV, and it's got this huge shower with a seat in it and this closet area. And underneath this closet area, we're gonna show you something very neat on the outside. This is the section in the rear of the unit underneath that closet in the bathroom. Look at the storage space. Again, this is a 24 foot RV. You, there's two electric bicycles in here, but you can store pretty much anything. And the storage goes all the way through and it's accessible from the back. A hugely great feature, thumbs, double thumbs up. So what do you think, Rose? Is the Winnebago View a contender? It's pretty nice. It's got a lot of space and I love the kitchen. You know how I like to cook. Yep, so. and it's got the big bed and it's got the big fridge. It does. It's checking off almost all the boxes. Yep. This is gonna be a tough choice. We're taking a look at another Class B Plus. This is the Thor Delano 24RW and it's built on the Sprinter chassis and it's about 24 feet long. Let's take a look inside. Well, this is an interesting design because it's got this dining area over here with two seats facing in addition to the couch across the way. And the one thing I think I like the most about this unit is cinnamon toast crunch cereal. Oh yeah. One of the things that we really is a downside of this unit for us is the size of this kitchen. This is, there, there is absolutely zero counter space. You would have to use the table in your food preparation. Now it's got this flip up door, which I wish all units had, but considering there's nothing over here, this is really tough. It's gonna to be tough to use. Um, it's got plenty of drawers. I just don't see it happening, huh Rose? Too small. In the back here, we have one thing that we do like, and that's the separate shower and bathroom. The shower is spacious. It's got a nice skylight, provides plenty of light. It's plenty of room. It's not, Huge by any standard, but it's, it's, it'll do the job. The bed back here is a pretty standard size. It's less than a queen. It's, it's a little small to be honest, but it is on a slide out and the bed does fold up so you can get the slide out in. Uh, all in all, they fit a lot into the space. Oh, there's one more thing I wanted to show you. It does have a bed over the top and that this is a window, plenty of light up there. So that is a definite plus for this unit. However, I think it's just a little bit uh, what do you think? The layout is not quite what we're looking for. All right, we're going to move on. Well, here's another class B plus C. Actually, it's got a bed over top, whichever you decide classification that fits in. This is the Thor Quantum 24 MB. That's 24 feet long and MB stands for Murphy bed. Yes, this one's got a Murphy bed. Let's take a look. This unit is very similar to some of the other units we looked at that have a Murphy bed, but this also has the bed over top of the driver's compartment with a front window. We like that. If somebody's gonna be up in that bed, it's really nice to have that window. It provides you a lot of light. Uh, also, we've got the bench seat here for dining and working. You've got the couch below the Murphy bed. Again, the Murphy bed pulls out. You can leave your bedding all set up, it's really nice to have. Look at that, all the bedding just floats right there in the middle. When you're ready to go to sleep, you just pull it down and you're ready to go. And there's a nice window in there as well. This is all on the side slide out. Over here, we've got this nice kitchen. There's a lot of light here. We wish they had a little, again, put a little flap there, come on, help us out. But it's got a nice gas cooktop, it's got three burners. There's a convection oven slash microwave. You got the TV here for the, to entertain people sitting across, and you've got a decent sized refrigerator. It's a Dometic refrigerator and separate freezer. Really nice setup. And then in the back, you've got the bathroom, a lot of storage on the left. You've got your, as Matt calls it, your prime pooping position, except that it's a plastic toilet. 
That's in tribute to you, Matt. And then you've got the shower door, which not really a fan of this. I don't know, I'd have to see. It probably gives a little when you're in there showering and that might be an advantage for your elbow room, but uh, uh, I don't know, we'll see. But the hinges seem a little bit cheap on this one. Right, hon? Take a, take a close up of these hinges. Can you see these? Look at this. Oh yeah. Yeah, they seem a little bit cheap. Uh, yeah, the, the, the cabinetry doesn't, we don't, we're not sure if this would survive a bumpy road. It doesn't seem to be as nice as some of the other units that we saw. So if there's a downside, that would be it for us. This is the 2024 Thor Tiburon 24 FB. Uh, as you can see, uh, the show price here is $151,995. This is on the Mercedes Sprinter chassis, so it's gonna be a little higher than the Force Transit chassis. Uh, let's take a look inside. There's some things we like about the interior that we liked about the last unit too. Okay, I may have mislabeled this unit because it does, as you can see, have a sleeper on top. Now, whether or not that's a class C or a class B plus, it is very aerodynamic on the outside. Some people say that's still a B plus, but our definition is if it's got a sleeper, it's a C. Doesn't really bother us too much, again, because it's got the aerodynamics. One of the things we really like about this unit is the same thing we liked about the last two. There is a ton of space in here. I mean, and look at this kitchen. Uh, it's got a huge countertop. I know Rose likes the huge kitchen. It's also got the TV overhead, opposite of the dinette that we like. Again, a very comfy dinette, not quite as comfy as the last one, but it's, it'll do the job. And it's also got this feature, which is a sofa facing the TV, but it's also got a Murphy bed that comes down. And we like the Murphy bed units because we can hide away all of our bedding and everything and leave it in place. And then when it's time to go to sleep, we just flip it down. I don't think I'm gonna be able to pull it, but yeah, it just flips down and it's out of the way during the day and then it's available at night. And that is huge for us. It is. Now, if we have one thing that we didn't really care about or too much about was again, it's got the shower curtain in the shower. It's, it's kind of tight in the bathroom, but there's a lot of stuff in that bathroom. We're gonna take a little closer look at, is there anything else you like or don't like? I love all of it. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna take a little closer look at everything inside this coach. We already mentioned the overhead sleeping compartment, but that can be used for storage or sleeping. So it's not so big a deal. I mean, it's just Rose and I traveling, but if we wanted to bring the grandkids or the kids, then there would be sleeping space available. We also mentioned that this is on the Mercedes Sprinter chassis and you know we like that. As we look over at the dinette, they've got the usual drawers underneath the dinette. These ones are very large and deep. And the cabinetry is again, the soft closed cabinets, no latch, but the hinge does a good job of keeping the cabinet shut. There is a curtain around the bed. So if you do need privacy, you, you have that option. Very comfortable sofa bed. Here's the Murphy, <laughs> some artwork on the back of the Murphy, folds down with the bed. And then we've got the mirror here that makes an RV look even bigger. Over on the other side, Rose's favorite feature, lots of huge cabinets, the TV. Rose especially likes this massive sink. And this piece is not as heavy. This is more of a plastic top. It's not as heavy as the granite. I kind of like that because it's a little easier to store. You'll see huge cabinetry underneath lots of room the drawers are extra wide we've got the convection oven microwave big drawers you got the dometic cooktop gas burners two of them and we've got a nice size refrigerator separate freezer we really like that clothing storage or other storage well, very large lots of drawers they lock in place now eh, they don't really lock in place Seems like there's some kind of a magnetic lock that's keeping these doors in place. But the drawers, they're being held in, but it looks like by friction. Again, look at the storage in the bathroom, though. There is a lot of room back here. And you see the ladder for the 
uh, overhead bed and a table stored away in here. More drawers, towel racks, me double medicine cabinet, and a shower. Now it's got this curtain, sort of curtain, plastic thing. We're not really sure about this. It does have a magnetic close. Um, we're gonna have to think about this one a little bit. It's, it's a little bit different. Um, I mean, if your elbows hit it, you're not gonna bruise them. Uh, so that may be a plus, may not be. We're just not too familiar with it. And it's got the regular plastic toilet. We prefer a porcelain toilet, but it'll do the job for your business. This coach has a lot of outside storage. Look at the size of this compartment and door. <laughs> it's got an Onan 3200 generator. and even more storage around the back. This is a single slide unit and there is some more storage under there, but I am not gonna, not young enough to go under there and open those cabinets, but you can imagine what they look like. Well, the Tiburon has a lot of the things that we are looking for. It is rather large at 24 feet uh, it, but it has a lot of space inside and it's it's very wide. I think it's wider than the other units that we looked at, but the fit and finishes are, are really nice. Uh, a couple of criticisms, just the cabinetry, not so sure about that. And the bathroom shower door plastic liner, not sure about that either. Uh, well, but it's, minor. it is, it's because definitely a contender. Is, this is definitely a contender. Rose really likes it. I do. All right, we're looking at another class B plus van. This is the 2024 Forest River Sunseeker 2400T. This unit has a floor plan that may look familiar to you because it's one of our favorite floor plans. Let's see how Forest River did it. All right, as we come inside, we realize that this is technically a C. However, it's got the aerodynamics that allow us to review this as we would the other aerodynamic B pluses. There is room up here to sleep. There's actually very, a very spacious sleeping compartment up here, uh, which makes it more C-like. So if you're not looking for something like a C, that may be a turnoff. But what's, what is a turn-on is, oh, these recliners. You know, if you've seen the Tiffin Wayfair or you've seen our review of it, you know we love the recliners. Uh, it's just it's such a cool feature. We can relax and uh, after a hard day of hiking and just put our feet up. It's awesome. Awesome feature. As we go to the back, you'll see this one also has the couch with the Murphy bed behind. Again, another, I'm not gonna pull that down, but another feature that is almost identical to the Tiffin Wayfarer that we, that we like so much. As it, over across from the recliners, you've got your kitchen area. It's got a pretty good amount of space on the, on the countertop. It's very deep here, a lot deeper than our class B. Also, you've got a Dometic cooktop, two gas burners. Whoop. Okay, I just gotta figure out how to do it. There we go, two glass burners. You've got a wireless charging uh, dock for your cell phone. Also, one of Rose's favorite features and mine too, extra counter space. They should all do this. Please pay attention. You've got storage underneath the microwave, more storage over here underneath the sink. You got plenty of drawers. These drawers feel really nice. They're, they're soft closing. The only issue we have is that they, are, they don't lock. There's no locking mechanism. They're relying on the friction to keep it locked. Up here over the door, you've got all the controllers for the units. You've got your JBL controller for the audio system and you've got a swing out TV. This swings all the way out so it's viewable from the reclining chairs and the rest of the coach. As we come to the back, we see this absolutely monstrous refrigerator. I mean, look at the size, how much space there is in there. Also a separate freezer with just an incredible amount of space. You've got a second TV here that's visible from the couch and the bedroom. You guys can watch two different programs if you want. If you've got the kids watching up front, you can watch your program in the back. Plenty of drawers and cabinets. Lots of space in this RV. In the back, we've got probably our least favorite of the things in this RV, and that's the bathroom. It's large. The shower is 
one of those rectangular showers that isn't that much space. I mean, it'll do the job, but we prefer a little bit larger shower. Also, it's kind of plain back here. The sink is here, but to get to the sink, you have to kind of move around the toilet. It's kind of weird. There's some cabinet space here. It actually has cabinet space under the sink. It's got a just weird placement of the toilet. So we, uh, the plus though is this sliding door. It's nice to have a sliding door. That way it's not swinging out in the middle of everything. And I'm sure you need that because when the slide is in, you need to be able to shut the door in the bathroom. But there's a lot of positives about this coach. The floor plan's nice. It's very open and airy. Uh, the fit and trimmings are nice. Uh, I would just wish that the cabinets would lock and some of the doors feel a little bit flimsy. Uh, the kitchen is, is really nice and we like that it has the extra counter space. It also has the ducted air conditioning that we like, speakers throughout. And, oh, did I show you these cabinets over here? More cabinets up top. Again, not, they, they are soft clothes. Why don't, why don't these lock? Put a lock, at least a magnet lock on there. So that would be one thing that we would prefer to have. Let's take a look on the outside of the coach. All right, as we look around the outside, we can see a great feature. You've got your outside entertainment area. The television is on the outside underneath this, ca this uh, cabinet door. Plenty of storage space, like all these units, these class B plus slash Cs, they've got a lot of outdoor storage. Back here, you've got an Onan 3600 liquid propane generator. And they've got these things so tight in here that we're gonna have to go around the other side. Oh yeah, it's also got this nice awning. That's pretty standard now. Here you've got all of your flushing water, external shower needs. You've got your black water, gray water tank, valves and empty out there. Up underneath the slide, you've got more storage. I'm not gonna go under there though. It's pretty much a standard setup as the class B plus slash C's go. Really nice. Well, we hope you enjoyed this walkthrough of the 2024 Forest River Sunseeker 2400T. As you can see, this unit has a very similar floor plan to a lot of the units we looked at, but there are subtle differences. And that's one of the advantages of coming to the RV show is that you get a chance to see all the units and see these differences because a lot of them look similar on paper, but they're completely different. And this unit is no different. We ho hope you enjoyed it. Before we get to number one, we have one honorable mention, and it's right behind us. That's the 2024 25JW Tiffin Wayfarer. And it's very similar to some of the other coaches we've looked at, but there is one feature we absolutely love. Take a look at this. This unit has a Murphy bed. The Murphy bed is pushed up front. Same deal as in some of the other units we've looked at, but across from the Murphy bed, take a look at this entertainment center. That's a huge TV that folds down into the cabinetry. It's got the sound bar and a fireplace. This is a small C, B plus, and it's got a fireplace. That is really neat. Also, look at the size of this kitchen. Wow, this is much bigger than a lot of the kitchens that we have looked at in, in other units. It's beautiful. And the bathroom is super large, just like a lot of the Tiffins we saw. Look at this, plenty of space. I mean, we love this RV probably as much as the one that's number one on this list. However, it's just the floor plan. Why did it not make the top four? The floor plan really didn't fit what we were looking for with just the single couch. We kind of like to have a little bit more. So that's the only reason it didn't make our list. Otherwise, this would have probably been the number two in our list. Folks, we've got a, it's not a B plus, it's technically a C. This is the 2024 Tiffin Wayfarer 25RW. It's got some features we really like. It's got the Murphy bed. It's got a huge shower and it's got some very comfy recliners. Let's go inside and take a look. All right, inside the Wayfarer, you can see it's got the Mercedes-Benz Sprinter chassis, which we like. It's got a small, small bed up top. I mean, it is absolutely minuscule but it does have a window we like that feature as you come in the door you'll see there's two recliners 
I think it may be available also in a dinette. Uh, we'll let you know. We're gonna go take a look at that next. You see it's got these nice, cool reading lamps. Plenty of storage overhead. Back here, you've got a curtain that separates the front area from the back area. Now, right now it's set up as a couch. Rose, check out the couch. Tell me how comfy that is. Oh yeah, look at her, she's right at home. That pad behind her is not a window though. Let me show you one of the neat parts. This particular unit has a Murphy bed. So what you do is you take the cushions off the bed. This folds out. The bed comes down. And then the cushions go in the back. Now, as you know, we are a big fan of being able to leave the bedding on the bed and just fold it out of the way. And the Murphy bed allows us to do that. One of the things we love about this coach. Plus, how about that window back there? It's really nice. Across from the recliners, you've got your television. It's not a very big TV, but it's large enough. And you've got storage behind the TV. That's really cool. You've got your microwave and convection oven. You've got a decent sized sink. Actually, it's a pretty big sink. You've got your Dometic cooktop with two gas burners. A decent sized refrigerator with a separate freezer. We, we like that, more storage overhead. Another television for the bedroom. Plenty of storage space for your clothing and other items and storage to hang your clothes up as well. Now, check out the shower in this unit. It is absolutely huge for a RV shower in a B plus. I mean, look at how much space I have. I mean, I have this much space and dig this shower curtain. How cool is that? You can even do your little art, you know? I don't know if you could see that. You could? <laughs> Shower wand, a nice bowl sink. When was the last time you saw a bowl sink in an RV? Some storage underneath. That's porcelain. As we go around the outside of the Wayfarer, you'll see a feature we really like. You can set up your lounge chairs outside and watch TV while you enjoy nature. Up under here, you've got a bunch of storage that looks like the inverter. Very easy access for the inverter, and you know we had our inverter issues with the van, so it, having access is great. Back here, you've got a large propane tank, and you've got your water heater. This is a single slide unit. There's some more storage up underneath, and this is where your, your washout, your flush out, there's an outdoor shower, there's hookups for your water, there's filters under there, easy access, and you've also got your gray and black water tank flush. All right, as we go through the show, we're finding out more and more and seeing exciting new things. Look at how light and bright this interior is. This is an identical model, but just the different woodworking and the different, different upholstery. Rose is in heaven. She loves this look, and so do I. Thumbs up to Tiffin. Thumbs up to the Wayfarer. We are so super excited about this one. One other difference between this unit and that first one we looked at is that this unit is totally electric. It's got an induction cooktop. There is no gas burner, but there also is no propane tank up underneath. As you can see, the propane tank has been replaced by a diesel heater. That's the heater for the coach. It runs on diesel fuel. There is no propane in this unit. This unit already has ample counter space in the kitchen, but take a look at this feature. That is a chopping block kitchen counter extension. That is a really cool feature. And it's in addition to the other drawers underneath. What else is up there, Rose? Show us this. Yeah, outlets right there on the counter, accessible. Put your coffee maker, put your you know, little fryer, whatever you wanna use in the kitchen. Here's where they're hiding all the controls, right above, right in plain view. All your controllers right here, easy access right below the sound bar. 
all the lights and all of the functions are controlled by this panel just inside the door. And you also see the awning control and the Boss audio systems, almost Bose. You're only one S off. <laughs> Back here in the bathroom, you've got the light controls and also a water pump switch. That's handy because you can turn it on and off right here at the sink. That's a handy feature. Right beside the bed, you've also got lighting controls, so you don't have to feel around in the dark in the RV. You can turn off the lights right from the bed. Here's the AC controls, also right next to the bed. Very convenient. One of the other things we like about this unit is the ducted AC vents. You don't have just the big AC unit blowing straight down on you in the bed. You've got, I count, eight vents in the ceiling that are blowing everywhere. And there may even be a vent. There is one. There is a vent also in the bathroom. Also, you've got these great fans, the Max Air fan, one in the bathroom and one up here in the living area. Great feature. Make yourself comfortable, Rose. You know, the more we look around this unit, the more surprises we find. Look at this underneath the sofa bed or sofa. These are the cushions for the front seats. All the tables store under here nicely. This is a large storage compartment under here. Thumbs up for that. On both sides of the couch and on both sides of the recliner, you also have connection points for the lagoon tables. So you can put tables at any one of the seats. Also, look right over here. You've got your Dirt Devil Central Vac. As soon as you open it, all you gotta do is attach a hose and you can clean it all out. No worrying about treading mud and dirt through the RV. Well, we'll still worry about it, but at least we can clean it up. And when I say we, I mean Rose. <gasps> Just kidding. What do you think, Rose? Premium TV watching position? It's perfect for me. Come and join me, hon. <laughs> I think I will. <sighs> it's almost like home. It is home. I think it's going to be home. As soon as we reclined in these chairs and experienced this comfort, we were sold. I think this is gonna be our RV of choice. We still gotta work the numbers and we still have to really talk about it, whether or not we're actually gonna pull the trigger on an upgrade. But if we do, this one is the number one contender. All right, now I'm going to sleep. See you guys later. Well, we hope you enjoyed that video of those Class C RVs. If and when we decide to upgrade, you'll be the first to know. Stay tuned to Half-Ass Travelers.